Okay guys, welcome back to your Sunday fix. Today we are talking golf balls. Last week you saw that I have finally given in and I have changed my clubs to get myself a little bit more forgiveness than maybe you thought this week about have you changed the top end of your golf bag? Have you gone for something more forgiving? Have you gone hollow body in the top end of your bag just to make it a little bit easier for you this season to get your scores down? But today we are talking golf balls. Like you know guys, we're at a next 100 golf course. We are at the fantastic Coxmoor here in Nottinghamshire. Around about an hour's drive and it's the first time I've played it and so far even with the conditions as you can see it's not exactly dry we've enjoyed that front nine played some good golf some fantastic holes here but today we've got a par three and we're going to be talking about again golf ball here so everybody wants a premium golf ball which you can get from C we have the SD1 at zero one even we have the SD02 for example which is similar to your CP5s to your Pro V1s and also your Callaway Chrome Soft but you might not need a urethane cover. You might need a two-piece ball. If your speed's getting a little bit slow, if you're starting to lose a little bit of speed and lose a little bit of height on your flight, height on your flight, height on your shots, then you need to think about maybe changing to a different golf ball. For example here, 120 yards. I've got an SD01 golf ball here, which is similar to a Pro V1. If I hit this in now with a pitching wedge, you can see I can fly that get the launch exactly that I expect, and although a little bit short there, I can get the flight that I'm wanting to see. I'm wanting to see a more lower ball flight. I need to take into consider there, not sure how far that is, but I've got the launch, I've got the spin control. But if you're losing height on your shots, and you're not obviously getting the distance, you might want a two-piece golf ball. And see, so you'd have that in the SD15, which two-piece construction, different cover there so straight away we're changing cover as you'll see on the screen and that's going to get you a higher launch straight away so if you're wanting to get it landing softer onto these greens then that's exactly what you need to do a golf ball can help you there and they normally come in a little bit cheaper than your premium golf ball you'll see if i hit this shot in now we're going to generate a totally different ball flight you can see there Launched a lot higher, a little bit out to the right there, but also straight away there, distance. That has gone a lot further than the first ball, so straight away there, it's a little bit of a firmer golf ball, comes off a little bit faster, and that's why this golf ball is called the Country Mile. I've certainly got some distance, but I've got the landing angle. And if you're a mid handicap golfer, if you're a high handicap golfer, or even a low handicap golfer, this could be a perfect golf ball for you to get you the landing angle, get you holding a few more greens, especially when it gets into the summer and lowering your scores. But now let's hit a couple with a driver and show you the differences in ball flight. So guys, we said we was going to talk about driver and the sun finally came out for us and we're on the 16th hole here, a par five where you're really wanting to get it probably a little bit further down there so you can either get there easily in three or maybe even have a go. So I've just hit a fantastic drive down there, which you'll see on screen now. Again, a nice penetrating ball flight. That is with the SD01. So as we know, you're a thin cover, three-piece ball, and it got the trajectory you're exactly expecting. Now what we've got is the SD15 or SD15. So this is a two-piece golf ball. You saw on the par three how it launched a lot higher, and it just had that landing angle that helped it stop. Let's see now, obviously, T at the same height here, same kind of drive see what ball flight we get. You see straight away there, the launch there, fading up that right hand side of the fairway, but probably three or four times the height. So straight away there, without trying to do anything different, that cover, that casing, that makeup of that golf ball could be the right golf ball to get you that little bit more carry in the summer. Then it'll start to run out and you'll start to be able to get the ball stopping on greens better. So think about what kind of shots do you play. If you're playing it too low, you might need to change that golf ball. 